Next Saturday's half million dollar Breeders Crown Championship for the two year old trotting fillies. Again, the top three guaranteed a spot in the final, along with the fourth place finisher among the three limbs with the highest money earnings. So they're at the post for race three, and here they come. And they're off. The stable mates come away one, two, and Jody Levesque from mid pack heads for the lead. And now Myelin has backed off. Silver Springs is chased out of there. Invincible Dream for Campbell is three deep on the outside. And racing in fourth is Congo Queen. Much Obliged takes an early tuck fifth on the inside. Sixth is three little words. Then Myelin is seventh. Habits Lady is on hurried from the back of the pack where she trails the field. And Silver Springs is on the engine early. And Janssen still showing her the whip. Jody Levesque is parked on the outside. Miller backing off, looking for the three hole opening quarter up in 28 and two and Congo Queen is second all over the back of Silver Springs as they head down the back stretch dropping in third as they head to the half is Jody Levesque Invincible Dream following fourth as Silver Springs looks for a backside breather much obliged as fifth three little words jammed up behind her mile in his seventh and habits lady made a brief break and has dropped back trailing the field no pace here in the second quarter as Silver Springs continues to coast along on the front content with the pocket is Congo Queen here comes comes Campbell with Invincible Dream first up. The half and 59 seconds flat, a 30 and three second quarter. Much obliged, just tipped to the outside second over, sitting loose cover there for Billy Herman. Jody Lebeck shuffled back at the rail. Three little words is six. Myelin is a long way from the lead right now, and she finds herself fourth over with less than three eights to go. And Habits Lady has dropped out last, trailing the field. Silver Springs trying to steal it on the front end. Invincible Dream working closer, first up on the outside. Congo Queen trapped in on the inside from third. Three quarters and 128 and two. Much obliged. Fans out wide. Three little words with some work to do. And Myelin on the far outside with a long way to come. It's Silver Springs with an eighth of a mile to go. Invincible Dream second. Here comes Chip Noble and three little words up on the outside. Congo Queen is right there at the rail. Silver Springs leads it. Three little words. Myelin on the far outside. But it's Silver Springs. A well-rated winner. Silver Springs wins. Three little words with Second, Congo Queen third, and Myelin was fourth in one fifty seven and one. Eight twenty six. Joined us here, Jan, tell us a little bit about Silver Springs. She was 0 for 10 coming in, but had a lot of money on her card, and uh, tonight you went the aggressive route and it paid off. Yeah, it's been really good from the start, you know, from June and on, and a little tough trips and bad luck, especially last time at the Dover Downs, you got boxed in, no place to go on the stretch. Your strategy, was it exactly the way it worked out here, because you didn't seem to want to let anybody go, you want to let her go down the road, is that the way it worked out for you? On paper, this looked uh, like the easiest division, so, and I know she's good, she's strong. And I get, she got away with a pretty nice half, so after that, you know, she can come home good, too. You won almost a million dollars driving, but not that Breeders' Crown win yet. Could this be the horse to uh, break that Jan Janssen maiden there? You can always hope. And what about Mr. Lindstedt? We're used to seeing you and Bernie together. Where is Bernd? He's retired. Retired, okay. Well, Jan Janssen's not retired. We'll see you next week, Silver Springs. Maybe back right here? I hope so. Okay, Jan Janssen, good luck next week, Silver Springs in the final.